Hello, welcome to Graduate Orchestra 2.0. I'm Mrs. Nelson, and today we're going to be talking about unpacking and setting up a violin or a viola. So your case should be sitting on the floor. It should not be in your lap while you're sitting in a chair, and it should not be up on a table or up on a countertop. We want to keep it on the floor so that just in case you were to knock something off um, or something were to fall or you were to lose a hold of something, that you would not be damaging your instrument. So let's start with everything on the floor. Your case should be sitting right in front of you, and your case may look different than my case. My case is cloth and has um, zippers. It is a hard case, um, but there is definitely something on your case somewhere that shows you what the back is. So mine has backpack straps. Yours may have little tiny feet, um, but there is definitely a top and a bottom to your case. Um, a lot of the times the hard cases, um, the plastic cases that your instruments come in have a rounded top for the bridge of the instrument. So make sure that side is facing up. Um, your case may have zippers or it may have buckles. Um, so whatever your case is, um, open up the buckles or open up the zippers. So I'm gonna turn this around so you can see it. Um, my case has a cloth, um, an extra cloth that protects the violin a little bit. That's just extra and you can set that off to the side. My violin is in the case and has a Velcro um, connector here that keeps it in place like that. And the bow connects um, in the case as well with a little turny knob um, that either unlocks or locks the bow into place. Right now, you can leave the bow in your case. Um, do not touch it right now. There will be other videos about caring for your bow and how to use your bow. But right now, we're not going to use our bow today. So um, make sure your case is flat on the floor and propped open. And you can undo the little Velcro thing um, and pull out your instrument. All right. Um, you can put your instrument off to the side, or your case off to the side, but you will need um, your shoulder rest to help get set up. Um, your shoulder rest looks like this. Yours might look a little bit different if it's a different brand. Um, mine has the yellow feet. Um, yours may be all black, all right? But you're gonna need that as well. So set your case off to the side. If you are one of my students, your shoulder rest has a pink dot on the back. Your violin has a pink dot to match. They should go on together and be on the same side when sliding your shoulder rest on. They should not be opposite of each other. If you are not my student or, and you're just watching this video or if your pink dot has fallen off, the pink dot side is the fatter side of the shoulder rest and it's the side that dips closer to the instrument. Your shoulder rest has feet. These are the feet of the shoulder rest. Um, they twist and turn, so let's first make sure that they're pointed the correct direction. They have little hooks on them. They look like little hooks. They're, they're covered in rubber, so they don't scratch your instrument, but they should be pointing inwards. If they are pointed outwards, they will, they will not connect with your instrument, so make sure that they're pointed inwards. Line up your pink dots or find the spot, the, um, the side of your shoulder rest that, that is closer to your shoulder or closer to your instrument, and then slide those feet up. Um, and you might have to put it in your lap. Make sure that you are not putting the bridge down on anything. You can use your lap um, so that the bridge can be protected. And you will slide that shoulder rest up on the side of your instrument until um, the little black tapes that I have there are lined up with the feet. Um, if you don't have tapes, it should look like this. It should just be up a little bit on either side and um, on pretty tight. Um, if your instrument, if your shoulder rest does not fit your instrument, you may need to adjust your feet. Um, but if you were one of my students, I made sure that your um, shoulder rests were set correctly before I gave you your instrument. So you should not have to adjust your feet. Um, you can adjust it a little bit um, to see what feels right when we get it up into playing position if needed. Um, but the tapes are just a guide so you can get it on um, the correct way and in about the correct space. 
All right, now you should be standing up and in rest position. And that means your instrument is going to be under your right arm and kind of snug in there um, where your arm can protect your instrument and you can hold on with both hands. Um, if you're swinging your violin around or playing with it, there is better chance that it is going to get damaged or knocked into something else. So rest position is where we uh, put it under our right arm and we can hold it with our arm and our left hand. Now, our left hand needs to line up to the fingerboard, right along the fingerboard. So if we put our, if we slide our left hand in there and our first finger, which is our pointer finger, lines up with the fingerboard, um, our thumb should just be across the back. And you can see right there what my hand looks like. I can go to playing position and watch first. And let me show you what this looks like. So I've got my left hand in here. I'm lined up with my fingerboard. I'm going to take my instrument straight out. I'm going to turn it facing upwards. And then I'm going to bring it in underneath my chin. My shoulder rest should feel comfortable on my shoulder. And my head is now facing um, out of my garage instead of at the camera. Um, this would be our correct playing position. Let me show you that again from the side. So if I'm standing sideways, I'm going to put my arm straight up, turn my violin, and bring it in underneath my shoulder, or under on top of my shoulder and underneath my chin. Good. Um, I should be able to, if everything is set up correctly and I've adjusted my shoulder rest so it feels comfortable, I should be able to let go of my instrument without it falling. Be very careful the first time that you do this and keep your hands close by so that you can make sure that you are actually holding your instrument correctly. Good, I should be able to put my, my hands up here and I should be able to take it down. Good, let's try that together one more time from rest position. Straight out, flip it up, and bring it in underneath your chin. Rest position. Let's do that again. Straight out, flip it up, and bring it in underneath your chin. Test to make sure that you can hold it. Now, your instrument is not parallel to the ground. If it was parallel to the ground, my, I would have to bend my neck. It is tilted a little bit forward. And the reason why we want to use a shoulder rest is if I didn't have a shoulder rest, I would have this big open space underneath here and my instrument would sag and become a necktie. So our shoulder rest helps it stay up exactly where it's supposed to be. Know that everybody's neck and shoulder and their body type is, everybody is different. So that's why your shoulder rest is adjustable. If you get your instrument up there the first time and you realize that something is really uncomfortable, like it's too tall or not tall enough, you can adjust the height of the feet of your shoulder rest and you can adjust where it sits on your instrument. So find what is perfect for you. If you're having trouble with that, please ask your teacher. All right, after you have practiced getting your posture set up and um, practice rest position, it is now time to put our instrument away. So sitting back down on the floor, put your case in front of you. I'm gonna do it off to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Um, your shoulder rest needs to come off of your instrument. Do not put your instrument in the case with the shoulder rest still attached. Your instrument will fit snugly back into its spot in its case. Make sure that the little Velcro um, holds your instrument in place. Um, some cases have a place at the, the bottom of your instrument or up at the scroll of your instrument. It might have room in your case for your shoulder rest. Mine does not, so I keep my shoulder rest in the top pocket of my case. Um, if you have an extra cloth or some sort of protective um, um, thing to go over your instrument. If your case didn't come with it, you could make one of these too. Um, put that on over top of your instrument to protect it from anything up in the top and you can close it up. Make sure to zip it all the way around 
or buckle all the buckles um, so your pink sword does not fall out. Um, if you're using the top pocket of your case, make sure that is zipped up as well and um, close up any Velcro spots. You are all done.